Welcome in my YouTube video channel of Engineering Graphics and Design subject, myself Arti Patel from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is second session of section of solid chapter. In this session, we are going to solve example. Before starting example, I would like to revise types of section or cutting planes. There are five types of section or cutting plane, which are SCP, VCP, PCP, AIP and AVP. When any solid is cut by horizontal cutting plane HCP, then cutting or section line drawn in front view, true shape of section appear in top view. When any solid is cut by vertical cutting plane VCP, then cutting or section line drawn in top view, true shape of section appear in front view. When any solid is cut by profile cutting plane PCP, then cutting or section line drawn in front view and top view both and true shape of section appear in side view. Next, when any solid is cut by auxiliary inclined plane AIP, it is inclined with HP at an angle theta. Then cutting or section line drawn in front view at an angle theta, apparent section appear in top view and true section draw separately because cutting line is inclined. Next, auxiliary vertical plane AVP. When any solid is cut by AVP cutting plane, then cutting or section line drawn in top view at an angle phi, apparent section appear in front view and true shape of section draw separately because cutting line is inclined and inclination is given with VP. Next, let us start example 1. A square pyramid base 40 mm side and axis 60 mm long has its base in HP and all edges of the base are equally inclined to VP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degree to the HP such that it bisect the axis. Draw its section top view, sectional side view and true shape of the section. Here solid is given square pyramid and it is cut by AIP cutting plane and AIP cutting plane is inclined with HP and inclination with HP is given 45 degree angle and AIP cutting plane is perpendicular to VP. Now here the knowledge of projection of solid is must require before taking section. So first draw projection of solid as per given resting or standing position of square pyramid. Here Square pyramid is raised on HP, so assume first angle projection method. Below XY draw top view and above XY draw front view. So first draw XY line, below XY line draw top view. From top direction, we can see the true shape of base which is square. So first draw square as per given resting condition on HP below XY line. Here, all edges of square are equally inclined with VP or XY at 45 degree angle. So, take corner diagonal line parallel to XY. Next, mark base points as A, B, C, D and axis point O, O1. Here, OA, OB, OC and OD are indicate slant edges. Next, draw front view. For front view, take upward projection from A, B, C, D base point and O, O1 axis point. Mark here base point as A dash, B dash, D dash, base center O1 dash and C dash on XY line because square pyramid is raised on HP on its base 
so base points projected on xy line now from front direction base is a straight line so connect all points as a straight line from center point of base take 60 mm height and locate here apex point o dash next connect boundary slanted o dash a dash and o dash c dash now in orthographic projection the position of observer for front view is below top view from front direction a b and c points are nearer to observer so oa ob and od slanted are visible in front view next draw side view for side view we need to draw vertical axis x1 y1 from intersecting point of xy and x1 y1 axis draw 45 degree angle line next draw horizontal projection line from all points of top view up to this 45 degree angle line and from this point draw vertical projection line in side view here mark base points on xy as d double dash a double dash c double dash and b double dash base points and o double dash apex point now here i have consider left hand side view and for left hand side view projection the position of observer is left side and from left side d a and b points are nearer to observer so oa od and ob slanted are visible in left hand side view so connect first base line on xy then slanted o double dash b double dash o double dash a double dash o double dash d double dash here two slanted are overlap which are o double dash a double dash and o double dash c double dash now this is projection of solid next locate cutting line as per given its location here cutting line is given aip and inclination with hp is given 45 degree and aip cutting plane bisect the axis so first take bisect point or middle point of axis from this middle point draw 45 degree angle line as a cutting plane line and which is indicate cutting or section line of aip now after taking section this solid is divided into two parts so next draw remaining parts of the solid as a dark line when any solid is cut by aip cutting plane then section appear in top view and during taking section we need to assume the portion between observer and cutting plane is to be removed so this upper portion is assumed to be removed here this aip cutting line cut all slanted so next locate cutting points which are cut by aip cutting plane first cutting point is on o dash a dash slanted two cutting points on o dash b dash and o dash d dash slanted here in front view o dash b dash and o dash d dash both slanted projection are overlap on the same line next locate cutting point on o dash c dash slanted so here four points are cut by aip cutting plane one point on o dash a dash slanted two cutting points on o dash b dash and o dash d dash slanted and one cutting point on o dash c dash slanted next transfer this all cutting points in top view on particular slanted so first transfer o dash a dash slanted cutting point vertically in top view up to o dash a slanted 
Next transfer O dash B dash and O dash D dash cutting point in top loop. Here we cannot transfer vertically directly this cutting point in top loop because the projection in elevation and the projection in plant both are in a same line. So first transfer this cutting point on nearest slantades either O dash A dash or O dash C dash. Here I have transferred this cutting point on O dash A dash slantades horizontally and from this point transfer vertically up to OA slantades. Next from O point transfer this distance by using compass on OB and OD slantades. Next transfer O dash C dash cutting point vertically in top view up to OC slanteds. Next locate here cutting point 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly locate cutting points in front view 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. Next join this all cutting points in form of line because of pyramid. Here this inner portion is cut by AIP cutting plane. So draw this remaining portion of the square pyramid in top view as a dark line. Next draw hatching line inside the cut surface area 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the angle of this hatching line is 45 degree angle and the distance between two hatching line is 2 to 3 mm. So, this is indicate sectional top view. Here, the shape of section is apparent shape because of cutting line is inclined. Next, draw apparent shape in side view. So, transfer all cutting points in side view on particular slanteds. Next, locate one double dash point on O double dash, A double dash slanteds. 2 double dash point on O double dash, B double dash slanteds, 3 double dash point on O double dash, C double dash slanteds and 4 double dash point on O double dash, D double dash slanteds. Next connect this all points in form of line. Here this upper portion is cut by AIP cutting plane. So draw the lower portion of side view as a dark line. Next draw hatching line inside the cut surface area. This is indicate sectional side view. Here this section is also apparent section because the cutting line is inclined. Now in case of AIP cutting line two section draw separately. Now for true section drawing draw x2 y2 axis parallel to AIP cutting plane. Next draw perpendicular projection line from each and every cutting points. Next measure the distance of first cutting point from XY in top view and transfer its distance from X2, Y2 and locate here first cutting point. Next, measure the distance of second cutting point from XY in top view and transfer its distance from X2, Y2 and locate here second cutting point. Next, measure the distance of third cutting point from XY in top view and transfer its distance from X2, Y2 and locate here third cutting point. Next, measure the distance of fourth cutting point from XY in top view and transfer its distance from X2, Y2 and locate here fourth cutting point. Next, connect 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 points in form of line. Next, draw hatching line inside 8 and this is indicate 
true shape of section. Now here, if the cutting plane is given, SCP cutting plane, then we will get true shape of section directly in top view as well as in side view. Next, let us solve second example. A hexagonal pyramid of the base side 30 mm and axis length 70 mm is resting on HP with its base on it and one of the sides of the base parallel to VP. The axis of the pyramid is 40 mm away from the VP. The pyramid is cut by the AVP inclined at 30 degree. The cutting plane is 15 mm away from the axis and nearer to the observer. Draw the top view, sectional front view and the true shape of the section. Now in any example of section of solid, first we need to draw projection of solid as per given resting or standing condition. Here hexagonal pyramid is rest on HP. So assume first angle projection method, below xy line draw top view and above xy line draw front view. So first draw xy line, below xy line draw top view. From top direction we can see the true shape of base because the hexagonal pyramid is rest on HP on its base. So first draw hexagon below xy line and as per given resting condition keep one side of the hexagon base is parallel to HP or XY. So indirectly resting condition is given on its base corner. The side length of the hexagon is given 30 mm. Center of the hexagon indicate here axis of the hexagon pyramid and the axis of the hexagon pyramid is given 40 mm away from the VP. So Take center of hexagon 40 mm away from the VP or XY. Next connect corner to corner diagonal line for slanted location. Next mark base point as A, B, C, D, E, F and center point O, O1 which is indicate axis of the hexagonal pyramid. So here this is the top view of the hexagonal pyramid as per given resting condition. Next project its front view. For front view the position of observer in orthographic projection is below top view. So take upward projection from all base points as well as axis point. Next mark base points on XY line A dash, B dash, O1 dash, C dash, D dash, E dash and F dash. In front view, base is projected as a straight line. Next from O1 dash point, draw axis line and take height of the axis is 70 mm and mark here apex point O dash. Next connect slanted O dash A dash, O dash B dash, O dash C dash and O dash D dash. Now from front direction OA, OB, OC and OD slanted are visible to observer and OE and OF slanted are invisible to observer but its projection overlap with visible slanted so draw here visible slanted. So this is projection of solid as per given resting or standing condition. Next locate cutting plane line. Here AVP cutting plane is given and the inclination of AVP cutting plane with VP is 30 degree and this cutting plane is 15 mm away from the axis and nearer to observer. So first draw 30 degree angle line from axis point. Take 15 mm distance from this 30 degree angle line because AVP cutting plane is 15 mm away from the axis and in top view axis is a point. Next locate cutting plane line parallel to this 30 degree angle line and the distance between these two line is 15 mm. 
Next draw remaining portion of the solid after taking section as a dark line. The position of observer for front view is below top view. So from this direction when we are taking section then the portion between observer and cutting line is assumed to be removed. So draw remaining portion of the top view as a dark line. Next locate cutting points. Here this AVP cutting plane cut three points, two points on base corner and one point on OC slanted. So next locate cutting points. Next transfer this cutting points in front view. Now the cutting points at B point transfer up to base and in front view base is a straight line. Next transfer OC slanted cutting point in front view up to OC slanted. Next transfer base cutting point D in front view up to base point D dash. Next mark cutting points in front view 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash. Similarly mark cutting points in top view 1, 2 and 3. Next connect 1, 2, 3 cutting points in form of line because of pyramid. Next draw remaining portion of the front view after taking section as a dark line. Next draw section or hatching line inside the cut surface area. This is indicate sectional front view. Now in sectional front view the shape of section is apparent shape because the cutting line is inclined. Next draw true shape of section separately. For true shape of section draw x2 y2 axis parallel to AVP cutting plane. Next draw perpendicular projection line from 1 2 3 cutting points. Next locate 1 2 3 cutting points in true shape. Here you can see 1 dash and 3 dash cutting point of base are projected on XY line. So in true shape locate 1 and 3 cutting point on particular projection line on X2, Y2 axis. Next measure the distance of 2 dash cutting point vertically from XY line and transfer its distance from X2, Y2 axis and locate here second cutting point. Next connect 1, 2, 3 points in form of line. Draw section or hatching line inside this area and this is indicate true shape of the section. So this is the end of this session. See you soon in next coming video lecture. Thank you.